Hi folks, I just wanted to create a short and quick unboxing for the Huion 420 signature tablet and just show how to use it just basically for signatures in PDF documents. So uh, this is how it arrived. Um, it came with the, the pen, uh, the signature pad, and also some extra tips up here. And um, the installation book for both the Windows and Apple, as well as a driver CD. And it also came with a glove for use with drawing extensively on the tablet and um, a little wipe to wipe down the signature pad. So first off, I installed the driver and I did notice that um, the different drivers had very unusual names, so I just found the one that had the numbers 420 on it and installed that one. It seems to be working just fine. Um, once I did install the driver um, on my desktop, if you'll see uh, here, there was this new icon that showed up. And you see right now it has an X in it because I don't have it plugged in at the moment. So it, the um, signature pad also came with this um, USB connector and I'm just going to plug it in. Uh, once it is plugged in, you'll see now that the icon does no, no longer has an X in it. Um, as far as the pen goes, you do have to unscrew the pen and add a AAA battery to make it operate properly. So what I've done is I've opened up a document in Acrobat Reader DC. You see here, um, and I have will now click on the fill and sign and some options come up here now at the top I can still click on the this AB to type in information let's say I want to type in the date here I can type that in and then when I want to sign you do have to press in the top of the pen here to make it start up and we will want to and once you hover the pen over the pad you'll see that I have I can see where I am and then actually let me turn the pad around I have it upside down okay so now that I've got it turned on I can go ahead and sign a name. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just randomly signing a name here. And that's pretty much how it works. Um, you can use the pen then to hit apply or you can use the mouse. And then you can drag that signature to wherever you like before signing it. And that's pretty much it. Then you just save, go to Save As up at the top, and you can save it with a new name with that signature. Hope this was helpful. Thanks so much.